Hi guys, how's everybody doing? It's Friday. As you can see, I am all alone today, manning, manning the controls and decorating. Feel free to pop your comments in or ask any questions. I jump from working to the comments to read you guys. Hi Byron, thanks for joining me. I was gonna say us force of habit. Hello Darlene. Oh, well, glad that you uh, managed to fit, fit it in your schedule. It's your first time. It's uh, just a relaxing, you know, hour-ish of decorating. Hey, Sally, Rena, hi, Lynn. All right, so some of you might recall a few lives ago, I think it was the 20th of September, I did this um, kind of haunted house design. Hello, Cheryl. I did a haunted house design with the bundles. If you guys are also not aware, we have this subscription where you get um, new tools every month. So that's at Global Belly and you get a, a bundle of tools every month so you can grow your toolbox slowly and uh, in a, an affordable manner. Hello, Pilar. Uh, buenos dias is good day, but gracias, thank you. <laughs> You're making me uh, struggle with my, uh, my Spanish is non-existent. Hello, Cassandra, Cheryl, I said Cheryl, Kayleen, hello, hello, Fabiola, Julie, hello, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. So, yes, yeah, so you can get the tools at Global Valley if you want. And like I say, you get like, you see here, this was the first one in September. And now the October one is the one with the 101 cookie cutters and the house is in that set. And so I'm working um, with that today. Hello, Amanda. Well, thank you, Dolly. That's a compliment to me if I can, you know, brighten your day a little bit. Hi, Gwen. I do find sometimes that I guess it's part of it. You know, they like take their energy to the next level. I find it almost exhausting, though, to watch. So now I'm just going to, um, here it is. Let me pop it on the screen so you can see it. It's sometimes easier to show you. So you can see the Halloween one in the back and you can see the Christmas one in the front. And I loaded the template on Patreon. I did try, for those of you that are members on Facebook, I did try to load it on Facebook. I will do it like to later today or tomorrow. The, there's a glitch, there's something going on. It kept saying, come back later, come back later. So I wasn't able to add that to the um, to the to the file to the group so sorry about that but i'll add it christmas is we have a bit of time hello stacy michelle hello so let me turn on my camera so i changed my lighting in here my light broke and i had to get a new light and now it looks like the surf like the sun is shining on my 
<laughs> my head it's extra powerful okay let me see let me switch hello shanna let me just get the focus in here all right let's let's talk about the cookie a little bit i'll just walk oh my icing i just cracked the icing on the roof i forgot that i had just piped that are you guys getting a clear image i am seeing the the lines appear all right so these are sprinkles here 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 there's a lot of nice little sprinkles on the wreath there's a sprinkle star so this is a, a nice project because we do amass the sprinkles and we don't like know what to do with them i find we just end up hoarding them and never really use them so this is a project where you get to kind of use your sprinkles hello shan i said hello liza michelle it's clear good okay you see here let me see if you guys can see i cracked it i stuck my finger there in the top so i'll have to scratch that off and and start again all right so let's pull the cookies into frame here so i brushed on a bit of icing here because i want to paint that and this is the football and i use that just to, to as a base to stand it up you see it fits perfectly under the house and it makes a great base and i actually like it better than a than a round because then it's not so far out it's not so far out when you want a package right it's just like maybe two inches so your gusset bag it doesn't have to be ginormous a gusset bag for those of you that aren't aware it's a bag that has a flat bottom so that if you're standing up your cookies you want to do like a 3d thing you can easily package yes stacy we all are sprinkle hoarders they're so pretty it's hard to resist in the store you know hello heather well you'll just have to buy more what a problem hi june Yes, I did the same thing on the Halloween version. Here you can see. And it's really the perfect, perfect um, thing. So it's hard to see. Let me pull this one back in. But can you see inside the window? It's a bit colorful. If you've ever walked in the evenings and kind of glanced over at your neighbor's windows at Christmas, you can kind of see like the colored lights in you know in their um in their house glowing from the outside and so i'm trying to replicate that so i've got my bag here that's a cello bag some yellow marker i've got all my markers so the markers included in the third uh, bundle of the of the subscription there, the cookie toolbox and i'm just on the cello bag i'm just coloring little squiggly lines just like that all over no rhyme or reason there's no right right or wrong here just fill in the gaps okay and my last one a little green okay and now i'm using regular water where's my little spray i have this little spray bottle i got this at michael's actually and now i'm just spraying the the marker Okay, and I'm going to bring the cookie back into frame here, and I'm just going to lay this where I'm kind of, I know I want to put the window, and you see it's uh, it's reflecting. Let me just tilt it for you guys to see. You see, and it gives like a bit of like a rainbow-ish type look, like if, you know, the lights were were on. So you want to let this dry before piping, so I'm just going to move this one out of the way all right and here's the template and i added all that to the groups like i said the facebook it will be loaded they were having technical issues and now i'm using the yellow marker to trace out the window to know where to put the window and then the roof here that's going to be sanding sugar so let's actually do the sanding sugar first thing so the sanding sugar sticks to everything that's wet. So if you don't want to wait to do your projects in steps, you're better to start with the sanding sugar first. So then you don't have to worry about it sticking to all the other areas. So that's the, you just have to visualize your project, the order. Because if you have wet areas, for sure, your sanding sugar will stick to it. 
Okay, it's a lot easier to do it this way. And now that was a drop of water. Okay. And now I'm just filling here. This is kind of like a dark gray. I'm filling in this area. And why is this doing this? It's curling. Um, I'm just filling in the area. And because they're sanding sugar, I'm not too worried about it. Sanding sugar is very forgiving. If you're a beginner, sanding sugar hides your imperfect lines and makes them look perfect. You fake it till you make it. Practice with the sanding sugar and then eventually you won't need it anymore. All right, so I'm just spreading it. I'm not really smoothing it out. I'm just spreading it. And now they sell sanding sugar in every color of the rainbow. But if you don't want to buy every color, you can just get the white and coat your colored icing. So this is black. I have uh, several of these, you know, I do cookies quite a bit. So I do have, I can justify having all the colors. So there's the little roof. And I do like using sanding sugar. Um, it just adds like a variety of texture on your project, right? It, if you have a lot of different textures, if we look at the picture again, where is it? If you look, you see the signing sugar on the roof and the little sprinkles that are enameled, like, you know, with the shellac and everything. It just gives it a little something, something. Heather, you have a question. Yes, Heather, you can purchase the previous months. They're listed separately. We did factor that, that some people would start after the month was over. So this month you can get number two until the 31st, until Halloween. And then the they ship the following month, the date that you sign up. So if you sign up on the 30th of November, you won't get your kit until the 30th of like December, the other one. So you can buy them separately. You don't have to do the subscription. You can just buy them flat out. They're listed on the Global Belly. Thank you, Cynthia. All right, so now you see I've got the roof on and now I can do the window frame because I have the sanding sugar kind of like uh, secure there and I don't have to worry about it getting in my other areas. And now I'm just adding my window frame. I'm working in a number two. You don't want to work in a crazy big piping tip. This is a small cookie. It's like you know, here, I have a quilting ruler coincidentally. So it's four inches wide, four inches wide. But it's, it's not a crazy big. It's a nice gift cookie, you know. All right, so now I've got all this on. And then I did add, so I did add without sanding sugar here, I added more of this icing simply because let's look at the design for you to see what I'm talking about. So you can see the candy cane there. So I just need the black or whatever. I opted for the black. I thought it would be less susceptible to the bleeding since it's not black, it's dark gray. And I want to have my white at the level higher, you know, so I need to add like icing behind it so that when I do pipe the white, that it's like in the front of the project, if that makes sense. For the, like the perspective of the design, it's not a huge deal, but I found it just in my, in my mind looked nicer with the, the candy cane kind of detail a little bit up more towards the front. And again, don't worry too much about this being super perfect because like I say, we're piping the white icing on top of this. Okay, and you don't have to wait for this to dry before um, jumping to the red. The red is powdered food color. Um, many of you have trouble getting the red red. You can buy super red food gel. The thing about super red, it does have a taste, a bit of a chemical kind of taste. So you want to mask that, you can use lemon juice to mask that taste. Okay. Um, Yes, the window, because of the little kind of colors and everything, it is cute. You could also add a little glitter to the window, a little pearl. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Shanna. Well, welcome, Liz. All right. 
So now I'm grabbing my red and I did this as a kind of like 3D, but obviously you don't have to, you can just leave them flat. And now you can just quickly flood the rest of the design. Okay. And this is a three. You could, uh, depending on your skill level, you could probably get away with a four. This isn't a lot of detail. You're just kind of quickly flooding the cookie. And you can see here I'm hiding the rainbow uh, marker area that, you know, the outer part of the window. So you don't have to see it gets cleaned up very quickly. I'll use my little tool, which is also included in that supply bundle to move my icing into the little point of that, um, of the house there at the front. So I created like a, a template with all the little decorations to make them as royal icing transfers for you to be able to get started now, make all your decorations and be ready to just kind of throw this together at Christmas. So you can see here, it's a really nice red color. You see, and then at this point you can let it dry. And then once this is dry, we'll be able to add the little white area there. Okay. Do we have any questions here? Alana, hello. So Americolor sells actually a uh, powdered food color. This is the drip color. The thing about the drip color is they have like a more of a variety of, of tones of the colors. Whereas um, Americolor, it's like just one, you know, so if you want to, like this is more kind of like, I want to say like almost blood red, a burgundy type color. Hello, hello. Yes, the details, it, it does, uh, makes it extra special. And if you can make the details in advance, it takes a bit of the stress off. Yeah, but be careful with the lemon juice for purple and some other colors. The acid impacts the color and can make the color off. Like just, it uh, messes with it. Like there's a chemical reaction. Doesn't seem to do it with the red. Hello, Angie. All right. So here, let me just show you guys the template. So here it is. So we have here the, let's look at the, I'm going to show the picture. So we have the little wreath. So this is the wreath. Then the window detail again here. So we have the window, the little uh, shutters. There's a flower box underneath and the little detail on top. So that's all here. The door. Then we have these narrow trees that go on either side of the door. And then I added a little penguin to have a little, because this guy, this Halloween one had a ghost. So this one here, I did a little penguin. I thought that was cute. And if you have any leftover penguins, you can use them on, um, let's say, an ugly sweater, cookie, or maybe on a coffee cup or something like that. And then while I'm on the topic of transfers, I created uh, 10, 10 sheets of royal icing transfers so that when you guys are done working on your cookies, if you have any leftover icing, you can look at the sheets and say, well, I have leftover blue, I'm gonna make some mittens or I'm gonna make some stockings or I'm gonna make some elves. And so I have those listed in my coffee shop. I also have them in my stand store. That's the link in my bio on Instagram. So here is, you see, I have the candies in a few sizes, candy canes here, some pine branches, some holly, the poinsettia, some Christmas trees. You can make them in a variety of like sizes, teddy bears, the sheet, they, they're in several sizes. Also the arms up or down. The Santa Claus here, I have mini little Santa Claus. And then I have the faces. So you can make the faces in advance and then uh, pop those on your cookies and just have to do like the hat and the beard and the, the trim on the hat, but it'd be much faster if the face was done. Here are the stocking mittens, three sizes of those. There's a sheet of the penguins. Elf, little elf, three sizes. Here's some gingerbread men, just the heads and some with the body. 
a variety of ornaments, and then some snowmen, some carrots at the bottom. So 10 sheets for $10, and this helps, helps me with the live, you guys. So if you want to check that out, whenever you're, like I say, if you have leftover icing, instead of throwing it out, well, you can just make some, some transfers and slowly get ready for Christmas. You found that if you use the no taste to make, uh, to make the icing dark pink, then I use less of the nasty. Yes, you can also use like pink to darken um, your like white and then move on to the red. I have been busy, June. I'm trying to, um, I don't know, our break kind of uh, messed up the, 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 the groove of the live stream. So I'm trying to regain, go back. Hello, Gwen. Thank you. Okay. So for, for, for the, let's do the Christmas tree. Where's my parchment paper? So you can work with parchment paper or wax paper. The wax paper I don't love. I think it depends on uh, the brand in your country. Here, I don't find it releases very well, but Amber and uh, Han use wax paper. I don't, I don't love it here. But like I say, it's not standard, right? Their product is different than mine. I prefer parchment paper, but you can also use like a clear plastic and acetate. And when you're piping on paper, well, it's very floppy. So if you can work on a clipboard or something like that so that you can pick them up or work on a cookie sheet, because when you want to move them, when you're done working, if you pick up the paper, well, you're going to crack them. And then, you know, it's not ideal if you're damaging your transfers. Another thing that you can do here, I made the little tree in a little pot. Well, you can do that with an M&M. Or a little candy so you can glue it with a little dot of icing and then build your little tree on an m m or like i say a candy of some sort so when you're doing the trees you can just outline and flood like like you would a cookie but i really do like a textured tree like you see here the the wreath and the tree it just adds like some dimension the thickness of the of the icing you know and that tip, there's two here, that comes in the, in the first bundle. You have this, there's a small star and a big star, and you can use that to make your, your transfers. So all I do here, let me see, I'm gonna go here. So I'm, this is thick icing, and I'm just starting about here, and you just go in a circular motion, you see? So round and round and you're going to smaller. And then when you know you're going to end, you release. And when you pull away, it tapers. This is forest green. So you see, you need thick icing so that it holds. And so it's very important at this point, don't wait very long. Because the non pareil, it doesn't take a long time for them to stop sticking to um, the icing. As soon as the icing starts to crust, they stop sticking. Sanding sugar sticks for much longer, but non pareil, I mean, it's not long that it doesn't stick. And then you can use either a little pearl or if you have the tiny stars, you can stick that on. I have found here in Canada a store called Bulk Barn that sells a lot of different sprinkles and little things if you want to go check it out. I'm sure for those of you that are in the States, you'd be able to find... Um, you know, a bulk store, you can pay a little bit less for your stuff. This year, I think it's going to be the year to try to find a good deals because the news keeps on telling us that we're in for a, a bumpy ride this winter. And now here I've got the other transfer sheet and I'm just going to show you guys the little tree. So I'm squeezing and as I squeeze, there's a bit of the icing comes out. I tuck that under and then I just pull down. And so I'm tucking under, whoops, it's moving here. And so I'm hiding the beginning under. I do one row and then I do the next. So that was three, now I'm doing two and then one. You see, and you get this really cute little triangle tree. And you can add um, white, non pareil, just to have snow. Or you can do like a holiday mix like this. And you can see how you can really go quickly. So if you have leftover yellow or blue, well, you can color that green and, and get your little Christmas details done. 
these would look so cute on a wide variety of, of cookie designs and you can have a lot of your kind of bits made in advance. You could also include these royal icing transfers in your cookie decorating kits. I know many of you sell the cookie kits and this could be like the extra kind of thing that takes you to the other level of your competition. Maybe If your competition is just putting in cookies and icing and you're putting pretty royal icing transfers in, well, you know, my, or you could also sell them as cupcake toppers on top of your cookies. Another option is to decorate um, sugar cubes. You could get some sugar cubes and decorate, add little wreaths on them and stuff. Super easy. It's just a little circle. And you could do like a bonus with, you know, if they buy $100 worth of cookies from you, you can include like a little box of 25 sugar cubes or something. You know, the leftover icing is a sunk cost. So if you can find a way to monetize it and to kind of, you know, promote it. So what else do we have on the sheet here? We have the, here, let's pull these guys in. So we have the little trees that I just showed you. And then I piped a white dot at the bottom and then I used markers to color in the, the pot. And then the doors here, let's just look at the doors. I had two kinds of hearts and I had two kinds of like uh, balls and these like they kind of bled. You guys can't see, but I prefer these. It's a little gold and then the, the little heart. I got these actually half off from Valentine's Day last year. Here's the wreath and it's the same hearts you see, but I used two together to make the little, to make the little bow. This is the window box. I colored the pot with my brown marker. I didn't want to make brown icing. Here's that little penguin. Again, you know, a way to use up your sprinkles. I put a little sprinkle in the middle of my, of my shutters. So that's it. These are just flooded on the template. Okay, so let's put that together. Where's my, where's my cookie? Yeah. Where's my white icing? I just had it. <laughs> How is this even possible? I'm sitting here. I haven't moved. Where's my white icing? Oh, there it is. <sighs> now I know what happened. The doorbell rang just before and I went down to the door. That's why I had a brain blip. All right, so is this going to work? All right, so now this is dry from before. I had added that white on top. That happens to you too, Michelle. Yes. The brain go up. You go, I got to go get something upstairs. And you get upstairs. You say, why am I upstairs? All right. So now I'm just, oh, let me do the marker thing first. So I've got my markers and this is completely dry. And I'm just adding some candy cane kind of detail to the edge here. I want it to look like it's a candy cane. So I'm just painting that. Now you can do it with like food color and paint. I find the marker works best for me. I found that sometimes when I paint the water kind of drips away or can bleed into the other sections. There's a more moisture than when you're using a marker. But if you've mastered it, then so be it. Go for it. In my, in my experience, it, it's been tricky. Maybe I just don't have the knack for it, but. And then with the marker, you're not always going back to the tray to dip. I find it goes faster. And I'm just quickly here. This marker has two ends. So I'm using kind of like the brush end. And then in the middle of the red, I'm just quickly doing a green line. So there's nobody supposed to be home and somebody's walking upstairs. So it's making me a bit nervous. I'm just checking my phone to see. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but 
you think you're supposed to be alone and people are walking around in the house, it's a bit, it's a bit off-putting. It's my husband, I believe. All right. Is it out of focus here? Let's test. Let's test it. I'm going to focus in on the window. I think it might be my um, internet. I recently changed the internet and I have like my cable. I'm always hardwired, but I think my hardwire cable is no longer compatible. So I'm going to have to look into that. So I am sorry if it's blurry. So now before I move on, I'm just adding a little kind of detail to the edge of the roof line here, some little scallops. So that's optional. My icing might be a little, a little too thick. It's, it's clogging the so if ever you do have like what I just did and it's not piping well, just let it dry before you try to scoop it off. It's easier to get like the icing off when it's dry than trying to get it off when it's when it's wet. And now like I said those little scallops. All right, so let's start gluing this thing together. So first thing here, I'm just gonna put my shutters. Hello, Adriana, it's back to normal, good. All right, so here's my little shutter and my other one. And the little gingerbread man unstuck and now I just stuck my finger in it and it broke. But we're gonna make do like if this happened to you guys. So I'm just putting a dot of icing and the little gingerbread man is gonna hide the crack. You see, so nobody can see the little crack. It's completely hidden, so don't worry about it. And now the flower pot, I'm adding my icing. Now, when you're adding the icing to glue, don't add too, too much because when you put it on and you press down, well, it squishes out. And if you're working in a different color, well, you'll end up having, let's say, the white oozing out, you know, behind. Now the wreath, I'm adding a bit of icing. Gluing that on. And then my Christmas trees that I made with the little painted, the little painted pot. I'm going to add that. And you can see the icing is a bit marbled. I didn't completely mix it. And I did like how that turned out. It gave it a little bit of interest. So you want to kind of have that flush at the bottom. You see? And then I'm going to add the door. Again, I'm adding my icing to glue that on. So, and you see, I started this way and I'm working my way towards that side so that everything fits. So I wanted to have my tree tucked into the, to the shutter to make sure that I could fit the two trees and the door. I did format it for the sizing, but still sometimes you'll plan. And then when it comes time to putting it on the cookie, it doesn't fit. So you just have to think about it a little bit before you start gluing things on. If you think it's maybe going to be a bit tight, you can actually pipe your trees on the side of the house of the window transfer. And then the last bit here is the little, there's a little detail that I made for over the window that kind of is like the door de design. There, like that. And then I'm gonna get my, switch out my white. I'm not gonna stand it up for the live. It's too tricky to do live. But I've got a really big tip here. So this is a number oh, 30, 364, okay? And I'm picking it up slightly. And you can see the edge there. You don't have to do this part, but I like it when, for my winter cookies. So I'm just doing 
a very kind of, you know, squishy line, you see? And that's it. And it's just along the edge. And I really like, here, let me bring my parchment paper because it's, but you see, it gives it a little kind of winter feel when you add the, that little snow. So here, Nikki, what are you saying? Sometimes your transfers are not flat or not the shape of the cookie. And when I add them, they stick up. So when you say not flat, you mean the back. So your, your issue there is the thing that you're piping on, you're potentially using wax paper, I'm guessing. So wax paper is, this is why I don't like it, is that the moisture from the royal icing kind of causes it to buckle. It just, you know, like when paper gets wet, it gets wiggly. And so that wiggly goes to the transfer. And so that's the wiggly. So if you pipe on acetate, a plastic, there's no transfer of moisture behind. And so you're going to get a super, super, super flat back. So flat that you could even use the back for your transfers. Like you could flip it and use it backwards. So either a really like a, a parchment paper that has got like the um, coating on it or a, a food safe acetate will resolve that problem but it's potentially your wax paper. And so here is the little penguin. So I had used the penguin on the 3D version. If I just pop my photo again to show you guys. So you can see he's standing up in the snow a little bit in the front, okay? So if I add him now, well, depending on how you're planning on wrapping these, he could crack. So you want to have a good amount of icing behind him, okay, so that it squishes into this gap and structurally he's supported because your transfers will crack if a little bit like, if you know anything about tiling, okay, if when you grout your tile and you put the cement down or whatever, and then it's dry and everything, and then later people walk, well, your tile is going to crack because it's not completely attached like supported underneath so there's a weakness so that's what's going to happen to your transfer if there isn't support all behind it well it's going to crack e either in the bag or you know in transport so that's kind of one of the things that you want to think about make sure that your transfers are completely supported from behind buster oh i didn't even think but yeah it could be buster the parchment also, if you can't find this, it might be just getting a different brand. Uh, they're all kind of different. You can add, Denise, the transfers when it's wet. A um, few things you want to think about is color transfer like bleeding. So sometimes, depending, you could get bleeding. And the other thing is if you add when they're dry, I find that they're even more dimensional. Like they look even more kind of like out of the project, you know? So those are the things like you want to think about, for sure you can put them in, but another thing I was kind of contemplating for the color bleeding is if you could flip your transfers upside down and spray them with shellac to seal them essentially so that there's no color transfer. If you consistently have bleeding, I know shellac is expensive, but that could be a potential maybe solution. Hello, Amber. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm going to just glue my little penguin. So you can see here the, the white from his face is all the way through. So I'm just adding a good dollop of icing, and I'm going to be able to squish, squish right there, you see? Yeah, you see Angie's saying that they're not all the same, you know, they're, it's just like so many other things, you know, it's like how they're made, manufacturer and everything. I like to get, if you can, get a kind that lays flat, like they sell in a roll and they also sell parchment paper that's flat. And I find that the roll, well, it's, 
like, you know, it's round. And so you have to stick the icing and tape it and all that. If you get the sheets while they're already flat, you don't have to worry about the curling. Thank you, Amber. Oh, you made the project last year. Well, this one's a fun one. You can actually start the transfers now. So you could um, get, you know, ready. Like I say, every time you have leftover colors, you could make some of the transfers from the from the set. How much would I charge? A lot. Um, yeah, this, I haven't priced stuff in so long, but I would say, you know, six to seven, if not 10, depending. Also, if you have to wrap it in a bow, making all the transfers, this is a lot of details. You could maybe edit the design so that it's maybe a little bit less, you know, maybe you could use stencils for part of it. Thanks, Sally. Thank you, Pilar. All right, so that's the project. I'm not going to glue it together just um, because last time I, I didn't go well when I tried to glue my, my house up and the filming angle isn't good, but all I'm doing is running a bead of icing underneath and then securing my football at the bottom. And I like to do it. I raise the cookie on a cookie uh, cutter and then I glue my bottom on. And then once you can stand it up, then you can add a little bit of snow and you can add uh, other little details if you want to the, to the front of the scene. But this doesn't give you a whole lot of room. It's just like one inch basically to the front. But if you want to start shopping now for your packaging, you can kind of plan your stuff, you know, because um, there might be supply chain issues and stuff. This is all stuff from you know, foreign countries, usually this type of stuff. So you want to maybe start planning your holidays. And you could also do your paint palettes. If you're doing paint to cookies now, so many things you could prepare with your leftover icing. This might be your project. Well, the thing that I really like about it, guys, is that you can start now. Thanks, Nikki. All right, thanks, guys. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go see how shiny I am because this thing is so bright. <laughs> All right. So here they are again, my transfer templates. So this is in the coffee shop. I have also them listed in my stand store. The link is in my bio on, uh, on Instagram and also on TikTok. And then I think it's this weekend. Amber, if you're still on, confirm the gingerbread houses are coming out, I think, for Global Belly this weekend. So here's hands projects i haven't seen amber's yet these are hands gingerbread houses this is mine if you guys feel like undertaking a gingerbread house project that'll be launched soon on global belly oh november 1st i thought it was sometime in october thanks han oh pilar uh no, there's none of that. But sometimes I can make out a few words. There's nothing in there that I can do. Thanks, Amber. The coffee shop link is, let me look over here. Here's both mine and, and um, hands. So it's coffee.com and then slash Munchal Confections. There it is. I have all the links to the different things, like I say, in the stand store. Any last questions before I go? Thank you, Fabiola. Thank you, Angie. All right, guys. So next Tuesday, I think Amber's in the hot seat and I'm going to be manning the controls. And if I'm not mistaken, she's working on one last Halloween project. I was hesitant to move on to Christmas, but it's never too early to start preparing because it's always such a stressful time. Thanks for joining me today, Lynn. Thanks, Shanna. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Carlos. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me and have a great weekend. Bye.